entities, ghosts, mythological creatures, urban legends, a world of the bizarre and unexplained. Seeking the truth of what drives our fears are often unexplored and hide before us. All we have to do is investigate. Texas, there's a place called Berkshire Pirate Farm. The residents have been experiencing what they feel is possible reoccurring paranormal activity in their home and on the property. It has also been revealed to the CPI team that there is a ghost town on the property that was built and some buildings were moved to this location back in the early 70s by the Texas Rangers as a place to unwind. Since then, the alleged ghost town has been abandoned and left to decay. The CPI team prepares and loads up the equipment they will need in hopes of a successful investigation as well as set the residents of Brookshire Pirate Farm at ease and bring resolution to the mysterious activity that's been going on in the house and on the property. Directing the team are lead investigators Elvis and Pony. Joining the CPI crew is new member Tiny and camera assistance from St. Nick. Longtime resident Caleb agrees to an interview and shares his strange experiences during his occupancy here at Brookshire Pirate Farm. Most of the stuff we've experienced is, has been mainly like noises, uh, voices, like bumps, things falling. Uh, we were outside on the porch and my roommate was inside the house and uh, we heard a large crash. So I went, we investigated, walked around, tried to see what we could find and uh, Nothing fell at all. Uh, my girlfriend, Morgan, she said that the uh, TV turned on by itself. Um, and she asked me if I had any problems with the television. And I said, no, nah, it's perfectly fine, bring a new TV. So that's just kind of odd. We heard screams of like somebody being killed or something like that. Um, Hunter was upstairs in his room and uh, I was outside on the porch with my girlfriend. From his outside window, he said he heard, heard screams and ran outside. Asked me if, if we were arguing or anything, and I told him no. He said it came from outside of the house, which where we were, and we were about 20 feet from the location that he said it was. Um, that was probably, he was really freaked out from that. And uh, kind of get like a sense of like overwhelming, like depression, and um, and it's like, uh, uh, my roommate Hunter, the landowner, he doesn't stay here a lot for that reason. That lattice is right there. It was um, here on the other side by the creek, and you could see him through the lattice. And we thought maybe it was like a flashlight or something out here, but we stood perfectly still, and you could see the orb going between the lattice, kind of moving around. While it is still daylight, the team heads out for a daylight investigation of the ghost town on the other side of the property. So we're coming up to what they refer to as the ghost town. Lots cars, some buildings, some small homes, as well as an old abandoned church.
Upon reviewing data, it was discovered one of the photos had captured several orbs inside the caboose. However, orbs are a very controversial subject in the paranormal community. Due to orbs could be images of pollen, dust, or even moisture. However, some orb images are authentic depending on size, shape, density, and conditions under which they were captured. The investigation almost came to an unexpected end when one of the members load tested the rotting deck of an old structure. Following the daytime investigation of the ghost town, the team heads back to the house to prepare and start to set up equipment for the main investigation and take baseline readings of temperature, EMFs, and natural ambient sounds of the house. During the analysis of the full spectrum footage, we discovered a Class A EVP undoubtedly saying, It's cold inside. Sounds like it's saying it's cold inside. That's what I'm hearing. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this recording. Go ahead, just let it go. footage of the EVP that was taken from another angle, only the first half of the EVP is audible as Pony moves away from the digital video recorder. The spirit followed him, indicating that it was of intelligence attempting to communicate. Shortly after the EVP, captured on the full spectrum camera is what appears to be a green static charge outside the front living room window, where screams and voices have been heard by the residents.
After capturing the static light in the front window, we took pictures with a digital camera starting from the front living room window, then down the foyer leading into the kitchen. What adds authenticity to these photos is that in each picture taken, the orbs are located in different positions as well as they seem to maintain the same shape, color, and density. Tell us what's going on here, because you're not uh, speaking with us. Are you behind that shower curtain? That was a flash. Go ahead and look behind that shower curtain, Bobby. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. It's not just me. We did. Hey Nick, didn't you turn that radio off? How about Armando? You got Nick with you? Yeah, I'm with Armando. Sorry, I have my radio off. We were trying to listen. Did you turn that radio off earlier? Yeah. What's well, back on? Well, it's back on. Yeah, I, I turned the radio on once. I turned it off and then when I left the house just a second ago I turned it on low volume um, just to uh, see if it would invoke anything. While investigating a room in the house known to the residents to have some paranormal activity, with the full spectrum camera we experienced disembodied footsteps which unfortunately was not picked up on audio by the camera. At the moment of hearing the footsteps it was noted that again an anomaly drops into view and sharply turns towards Elvis. Happy Armando, he's got some heavy footsteps. Yeah. Hey Armando, you copy? Armando. Yeah, where are you guys right now? We're doing the walk around outside. Outside the uh, front corner room. Are you on part of the patio or any uh, structure of the house? Roger that. Hey guys, Pony here. Let me take you back to a scene earlier we showed. Did you notice that guy over there? Well, don't feel bad, either did we until many, many times watching it. He's what we like to call in the industry as a shadow figure. It's very exciting. I hope you enjoy. We were unable to organize a closing interview with the residents of Brookshire Pirate Farms and reveal the evidence we had compiled during our investigation due to time restraints. Perhaps one day we will be fortunate enough to meet again with the residents of Brookshire Pirate Farms and carry out a follow-up investigation. The CPI team, while there for only a short time, did indeed sense that there was a malevolent, non-threatening presence there in and around the house. In fact, at separate times during the investigation, both Tiny and Elvis experienced a heavy feeling of depression and dread, like a wet blanket when coming off the top step to the upstairs loft. The Brookshire area is rich with history dating back before the Civil War era, throughout San Felipe and surrounding areas such as Katy and Sealy, Texas, may give many souls a reason to not be at rest. Until then, what we'll find on our next quest will be up to you to determine if true or unknown.